Hello my crafty friends, it's Marie from Marie's Vermont Creations and today I am super excited to be celebrating Nancy May, Handy Scandy's Crafty Ventures on YouTube. Um, she has reached a 500 subscriber milestone and so I will link her channel down below and so I'm super excited to be participating in this hop. Nancy wanted us to case cards that she had created so I opted to not case one particular card. I decided to do some techniques that I enjoy watching Nancy do on her channel. So I have a gel press print that I have pulled from my stash because Nancy and I have made the vow that we are going to try to use up some of these things that we create. You know, there's nothing easier than creating a bunch of backgrounds and then they sit in a drawer. So I pulled one out. And I have taken my Versamark ink pad and I have swiped it along the edge of this entire panel. And I have dipped it in my Brutus Monroe Gilded Embossing Powder. And then I'm going to heat set that until it's smooth and melted. There was one particular area right where my hand is right now that just did not want to get embossing powder on it. So I end up doing this two more times to get the look that I want around the edge of this panel. And... So the dry paint brush is just to knock down some of the powder if I thought it was too thick in certain areas because I didn't want it to be, I didn't want it to be smooth, you know, I didn't want it to look like a straight line either. I wanted it to be rough and jagged and just kind of grungy looking because I know that's a look that Nancy um, is really good at, a mixed media, a grungy look, um, stenciling. The woman is the queen of stencils. If you are looking for a stencil, I'm pretty sure Nancy owns it. <laughs> um, and so I went with that kind of mixed media grungy feel for this card. So that's um, starting with the embossing powder around the edge. And then the other thing is I have dug into my stamp sets. We both used to purchase and for a short time demo for stamping up. Um, so I pulled out some stamp sets from my stash that have long since retired um, and I am going to use them to stamp into the center of this just to kind of give this some more texture and definition to this panel. Now mind you this is just a piece of copy paper so I put it through a lot honestly um, and it holds up quite well so this is just kind of a little checker stamp and then I have like a little flourish that I'm using some white ink I'm not even putting it on a block. I'm just slapping the ink on it and putting it down. Not even thinking about it, just going for it. And then I'm gonna take some Simon Hurley. I don't know if this is, it's a blue color. I wanna say it's his newest one. I don't know if it's, I honestly can't remember the name of it, but this is just a big background stamp which is also from Stamping Up which is French words. I have not a clue what it says but I just like the font of it so I put that down a few times and then I'm going to go back to the other two stamps I used and I am going to use my Gina K Amalgam Ink to stamp those a few times randomly throughout this panel. Um, and unfortunately all the detail that I'm putting on here you can't really see on the camera but in person it gives this card great depth and dimension. So I can't have a Nancy inspired card without some stenciling. So I found this Brutus Monroe stencil in my stash and I am using some unicorn glitter paste, which is from Brutus Monroe. And I am just going to stencil on a thin layer of this along this right hand side of my panel. And I'm just using a tonic um, little tool to put this on here and I'm trying to scrape it so it's pretty thin and the reason I'm doing that is because I am impatient and I wanted it to dry so that I could keep going <laughs> with making the card. I do recommend taking this immediately to the sink and washing off your tools and your stencil so that it doesn't um, get rock hard on there. And then what I'm doing now is just taking a piece of tissue and wiping off the wet uh, paste that was on any of the gold embossing area because I didn't want it to be there. So here's my card panel and I thought, mm, I don't really like it to be white. And I was too lazy to get up and get a black card base. So I'm just gonna take my Gina K Amalgam ink and direct to paper, make myself a black border around this panel so that it looks like I have a black mat behind here, but I didn't have to get up and get, <laughs> get the black piece of paper. 
Um, so then once I clean up this mess, I am going to adhere my panel down using some art glitter glue. It's still a little bit wet um, with the paste, so I'm just being careful to make sure that I don't flatten that out. And then in from my stash, I have this random giant love die that I absolutely enjoy using. It takes up the whole card front. And so I cut that out of some gold mirror card stock and I am going to adhere that down using some art glitter glue to the front of this. And that is gonna complete this entire card. So again, congratulations, Nancy. This is a hashtag driven hop and there are prizes. So head on over to Nancy's channel to get all of the details. And I hope that you check out everyone in this hop to see what they've created. And as always, I hope that you have a great day.